Here's my new airsoft gun. It's about 2.2 pounds. Feels like it's mostly metal. Feels like a, a real Magnum Desert Eagle replica. It's got some power! It's electric. It holds 30 rounds. And it's got automatic and semi-automatic. We're going to try the automa automatic right now. And there goes 30 rounds just like that. So I've been firing at this box for years, or at least a year, with my uh, JLS 2010A Beretta replica that I did a review on previously, and it never, barely made a dent to this box. Now this is just like a couple days using my new CM121 pistol. As you can see, it's pretty much just destroying this box. It's just destroying it. I had to flip it over and it was and just there, yeah. So yeah, my pre my JLS 2010 was rated at 150 feet per second. But this one, the CM121, is rated at 180 to 220. So I didn't think it would be that much more powerful. But it's a lot more powerful. This is my JLS 2010. And there's the box. This broke on me when I was shooting some videos. I was falling a lot with it and throwing it on the hardwood floor. And it doesn't work anymore, unfortunately. But check out that video because I broke my gun to make it. So go look at that video on my YouTube channel. <laughs> Um, it's called Time Crisis 5 Stays Alive, when I was doing lots of falls with it on hardwood floors for your entertainment. For your entertainment. And I broke my gun. It doesn't work anymore. So that stinks. So then I was like, well, I better get a new gun. I better get a better gun. So I upgraded to this one for $65. 25 65 they both come with rechargeable batteries and and a sample pack of BBs and this one comes with all this junk that you can attach to it that I never use. One of them is like metal and looks real and one of them is plastic. This is like, a, this one here is like a feather compared to this one. This is like heavy. You don't want to drop this one on my, on my floor doing falls. I will mess up my floor. Mess the gun up too. They both have like a rail so you can attach you know, uh, like laser sight to it or something like that. But this one shoots a lot faster and a lot harder. One's a lot bigger than the other one as well. So the hand on this one's almost too big. It's not as comfortable as this little, as the Beretta. Here's the switch for the semi-auto and the automatic. Oh yeah, the problem I have with the JLS, as I mentioned in my other video, is that the clip would, would come out, like it would pop out about like that when I was using it a lot. In the first couple of rounds, I'd have to push it in and hold it in. This one holds about 16 to 18 rounds. This one holds like 30 rounds. I love the, the clip release on this. You push it and it falls out like a, like a real clip. So it's not going to come out while you're playing. I also like that you can see, you can see as you're filling it up full of BBs, you can, you can see how much more you got to put in there. This one is for the safety to lock the locks the trigger, you push it on one side and then push the trigger. Now the trigger doesn't pull and undo the safety, flip it up, now the trigger will pull. What else? My cats love the, this new gun by the way. Every time I shoot, he starts complaining. <laughs> you like the gun trooper? You like that new gun? <laughs> this one had blowback on it when it fired. This one does not have blowback. This here comes back. But that's just to take this front slide off, that slide off, which is uh, where, now this is where you put the battery in, right here. And you can pop, and there's the battery, it comes out like, like that. So this is the battery, I said it comes with the charger. You can't take the gold tip off. That's what holds the slide on. All right, that's the uh, 
JLS 2010 compared to the CM121. This, what's cool about this is when you can play indoors and shoot shoot each other with this one. But this one, you can't really play indoors and shoot each other with this one. <laughs> You're going to be too close and it's going to hurt too bad. So that's unfortunate. You know, it's been denting my walls even. So I have to put my target in front of like a door and it doesn't dent the door. I, when I was shooting at about 20 feet away from the wall, it was denting my walls. Put a couple dents in there, so and I missed the target. I'm going to head it up against my drywall. Anyways, hope that informs you and check you guys later. Bye. Thanks for watching. I hope you leave a like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.